Hi there! So we have these two great systems, mFiles and Hubshare, right? In this video, I'll explain how to make them work together by connecting your mFiles vault with your hub. There are two ways you can do this, company level and hub level. Let's see how it goes. Let's say you want your company vault connected to Hubshare. Here's what you need before starting. First, you need to connect your Hubshare to your mFiles vault. Not everyone can do this. You need a Hubshare admin account. You'll also need your mFiles server address, your vault GUID, and an mFiles username and password. Also make sure your mFiles vault is accessible via the web. Once you have all of this, log into Hubshare with your admin account. To start configuring the connection, go to your settings. Now find your way to the company settings where you can configure Hubshare extensions. Simple, right? Settings, Company, Extensions, Configure. In the extension settings, click on the little pen icon and add your mFiles configuration details. Fill in your info and remember to click Check and Save. Easy as pie! However, what if you only need to link your mFiles vault to a single Hubshare hub? What if you're not the Hubshare administrator? You can still do it. First, go to the hub you want to link to your mFiles vault Click on this little pen icon here to manage your hub and then go to the configurations and style where you can configure various details about your hub. Find extensions configuration, click on the plus sign and fill out your mFiles vault information like in the previous example. Name, server URL and so on. Super easy. Now you've learned how to make mFiles and Hubshare shake hands. There are plenty more great things you can do in Hubshare, so why not check another video? I'll be there waiting for you. Until we meet again.